everybody. It's Top Entrepreneur, and we're back here talking to Adam Cooper. Adam just recently relocated his business from South Florida to Central Mass and is working now with his dad's business, Atlas Press. So, Adam, what's it like to uh, move in with the family and uh, bring in your own ideas on doing business locally? Oh, it's been uh, very exciting and, and fantastic, and I think it's it, it's infused a lot of uh, uh, new energy and excitement, uh, you know, into my into my father, who I think uh, uh, one of uh, four children that I think he's now ecstatic to kind of have one of one of his kids come back in and and take a business that's been around for 75 years. Uh, my grandfather started in 1934 uh, and inject a little bit of new life and some new thoughts and, and uh, some new services as well. So what are the services that Atlas Press is now bringing in? Have you changed the name of the company? Um, well, there's a lot of name recognition in terms of the Atlas name, so I think you know we want to stay with that. The challenge now is, is taking a, a company with a name that says Press at the end uh, and introducing some of the new services into the marketplace. Uh, in looking at, at, the, at the printing industry as a whole, it's still a billion dollar industry, uh, but clearly people don't print as much as they used to. So my background is more in an electronic form of communication, uh, and I'm bringing my skill sets, with it, which is video and multimedia production, um, website design and development, and social media marketing into the Atlas Press fold, where we're now kind of uh, reimagining ourselves as more of what I would classify as a communication solutions agency, um, and, and taking this great family business and, and really trying to expand upon uh, these new services with a very strong uh, existing client base. Oh, that sounds exciting. So are there any particular tips you want to share with some entrepreneurs that might be watching today? Yeah, definitely you want to uh, you know, stay true to, to your mission statement and, and your action plans. Um, you know, being an entrepreneur in South Florida and starting a, a, a small uh, production company in, in Miami, uh, it's now a little bit of a, of a trick for me because we're integrating uh, what we did in South Florida into an existing family business. So uh, it's kind of a cross between uh, an entrepreneurial endeavor um, and a family business that, that's already been around, that already has clients. It's a big advantage to us um, you know, in any endeavor. When you have clients and you have revenue, uh, it's always a little bit easier to go out and, and try and bring in new revenue. Um, but in terms of starting uh, your own business or, or, or taking an entrepreneurial idea and building that out uh, you know, into something that can, can return sustainable income, you really want to make sure that you stay true to your mission statement, make sure you have a very solid business plan and action steps. If you can surround yourself with the proper board of advisors uh, to help guide you through some of your obstacles that you might face uh, and really stay true to, 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 to that piece of paper, that, that, that doctrine. Uh, if you can stay on course with that, um, it, it, it can be successful.